Colin Gray, the father of the accused Georgia school shooter Colt Gray, is being charged for his alleged involvement in the heinous crime and could face up to 180 years in prison. This echoing a similar situation where the parents of Michigan school shooter Ethan Crumbly were sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison for their role in the shooting that killed four students. Joining us now to discuss is criminal defense attorney and founder of the Illinois-based firm Greenberg trial lawyer Steve Greenberg. It's great to see you again, Steve. So details of this case are limited, but do you agree with the charges being brought against Colin Gray? What ultimately do prosecutors have to prove? You know, we we don't know all the facts here. Um, we know that they, there were some problems with his son. There were some red flags. We know that he uh, got a weapon for his son, apparently, after those red flags were there. So it's a question of where you want to draw the line in parental responsibility. And without knowing what was there, you know, was his son saying, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do some harm to some people. And then the father bought a gun for him. Maybe you've got uh, more liability. There's sort of more criminal liability in that situation than if the son was just saying, hey, there's people I don't like, you know, I'm going to go beat them up. The problem I have with this is when you start criminalizing parenting, where are you going to stop? And then when you start criminalizing parenting, are you going to start criminalizing all of the decisions that people make? There are some similarities with the case in Michigan when the parents of a teen shooter were held partially to blame. You mentioned that responsibility aspect of this and the questions surrounding that. So do you think charging parents for their involvement in their child's crime will in any way act as a deterrent for acts of mass violence in schools? I don't think it's going to act as a deterrent because I think that it's such antisocial behavior that it's more of a mental health problem. Uh, I think it's a bigger question of why are people buying guns for 14 year olds? And that's uh, something that's a much larger issue where people think that that's something that they should be giving to, giving to their kids. You know, we had that situation in Chicago where uh, there was a mass shooting and someone was buying a, a weapon for their child who was only 16 or 17 years old at the time. Why are people buying firearms for children that are of that age? We don't let kids do a lot of other things at that age. Why do we feel that they can have weapons like this? So I think it's a bigger issue. Anytime you've got a mass shooting, it's not really something that you're gonna be able to stop because the reason people commit crimes like these are, are far more deep seated than than just a normal crime, than just a normal robbery. There are always bigger mental health and social issues. If you look at the people who commit these crimes. Mental health is certainly uh, such a huge issue in this country and something that always comes up. Criminal defense attorney Steve Greenberg, thank you for joining us tonight on the National Desk. Thank you.